Hey everyone, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we are diving into some exciting news about the upcoming season. While the developers haven't officially confirmed it yet, Databiners have uncovered some revealing information about the theme of next season. It's going to be jungle themed once again. This theme isn't exactly new to Call of Duty Mobile, in fact, we have already had it twice before. Once in season 10 The Hunt and more recently in Tropical Vision. While we don't know the exact name of the theme for next season yet, it's definitely going to be along the same line. Here's the list of characters we can expect in next season. What caught my attention the most is we are getting another Rin Yoshida skin. I'm really excited for that. Alright, let's check out the skins from other Call of Duty titles that we can expect in Season 4 of Call of Duty Mobile. Let's take a look at the original Saiyanai skin from Call of Duty. In Call of Duty Mobile, we already have a Saiyanai skin called Thunder, but it is not the default one. Here's the default Saiyanai skin. Next up, we have the Helen Park skin called Clandestine. Compared to all the Helen Park skins, this should be the only mass park skin we have in Call of Duty Mobile. Then we will also get the D-Day skin called Bush Ranger. This is one of the coolest skins, nothing fancy, just a military themed skin. The next one is even better, which is the brand new Sims skin called Gunner. Woods will also get a brand new skin, simply called Rogue. We can also expect a brand new Alice skin called Boss Lady. It's not really a standout, but it's still a pretty decent tryhard skin. We have got one more skin, a brand new Vargas skin. There's a high chance of this one appearing in the Battle Pass next season. Now, if you take a look at all these skins, you will realize that it's going to be one hell of a season. And trust me, having two of these skins in the Battle Pass and the Ground Forces subscription is going to be a great news for all of us. Meanwhile, Call of Duty Mobile is also rolling out some aesthetic changes, especially for vehicles. Check out the before and after models of these vehicles. What do you guys think of these changes? I don't see a significant difference. The vehicles seem a little darker, so there are some changes, but they are not that significant. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Cheshire Park has been removed from the game. The map is missing from limited time modes and private rooms, and it is unavailable on both global and Garena versions of the game. There's no confirmation on why it was removed, but data miners speculate it was taken out for bug fixing. It's definitely not the same reason why they removed shoot house. Do not blame Warzone Mobile for this one. Maddox was discovered receiving a slight rate of fire buff in the test server. This could mean that next season Maddox will be a great gun. It still is, but it will be better. There's some excited news. A major music collaboration could be in the works for next season. With the confirmation of Snoop Dogg's return to Call of Duty Warzone, there's a speculation that this collaboration could involve him. However, details are still uncertain at this point. What do you guys think? Will it be Snoop Dogg or will it be any other artist let me know in the comment section below you also have a leaked image of the mg42 mythic drops mythic upgrade interface in the background we can see that it is set on sea and aircraft carry on flames can't wait to find more about this mg42 mythic skin still we don't have much stay tuned for more information what do you guys think about the mg42 are you excited about it let me know in the comment section below we have new teammate settings that have been discovered in the test server these settings allow players to toggle the visibility of their teammates health bars and adjust the transparency of these health bars. Furthermore, players have now option to deactivate both the name and the health bar, replacing them with just a blue mark instead, a new multiplayer mode with battle royale classes. In this mode, players can choose from three available battle royale classes, Shockwave, Rewind and Poltergeist. Would you like to see this mode added to the game? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any future content. Check out the other videos while you are here and I will catch you guys all in the next video.